Boa. Oh, hey, Aaron. Hi. What game do you think we're playing today? Oh, gee, I don't know, man. No? No, uh, CyberConnect. Yeah, I bet you can't figure it uh, out. Pro oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, jeez, I am surprised. We have mail. We, uh, uh, yeah, Aaron has uh, never a, never played the dot .hack games ever. before. Um, <laughs> this is his first time. Ever even seeing one of these games. Uh, ever. I... I it uh, didn't intend to spring it on him as a trap, and then we lost the footage. And then it. Uh, oh, look at that! New game. New game. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey. Oh, glowy rock with a cape. Aaron, you'll never believe what it does. Uh, I wonder if it talks. <laughs> it might. I sprung this game on Aaron before. And I was like, Aaron, look what we're playing! And he was all excited, and then we played it for two hours, and. And it all went bye-bye. We lost all the footage. Through that day. All of Aaron's first experiences with this game. Lost. Glowy, talky rock. Who quests for the twilight dragon. Grumbles the dark hearth. And Helba, queen of the dark, has German raised such a cool her magic army. Uh, language. Aperion, king of light, beckons. At the base of the rainbow, they meet. I'm reading too fast. Again, the abominable wave. Together, against the abominable wave, they fight. <laughs> Alba's lake boils. Light's great tree doth fall. What, you grass hill? What? You grass hill, the great tree. Oh. Power. To now all droplets in temple of in arcane quell, nothing to return shadowless the world of ones. Ooga booga, bad guys are coming. The shadowed return never to one. The guy who is never gonna come back. He came back. Who quest for the lizard? Oh, we should have done like a, like an interpreted like. I saw Perion's lake got really hot and began to bubble, and then as soon as it began to bubble. Uh, the, the King of Darkness, Helba, brought her armies to the, the base, this big rock, and uh, the, the fight with the rainbow was uh, pretty as fuck. E. <laughs> so, um, I've done this spiel before, but Dot Hack is like my favorite game series. No, says, uh, Better hurry up and get in the game so Yasuhiko can see me. Yeah, and the fucking your Aaron's reaction to Yasuhiko's the fucking uh, username. Uh, Let's be. Um, no, don't. It won't even matter. Don't worry. I was gonna say we could be B butt. It, it won't even matter. Then we had A butt and B butt. <laughs> <laughs> Mailer. Or dot fuck. Explain stuff. Uh, hey, look, chaos game. This tells us how to play. Um, Makanu. Registered yet? Yeah, blah. Oh, man. So, Aaron, why don't you explain to the audience what your involvement, like, what you know of Dot .hack apart uh, from this game. So, I've watched all the Dot .hack sign. That was way, way, way long ago when I was a kid. Then later on, I watched Dot .hack Dusk, which <sighs> apparently isn't entirely canon, which makes sense. It's all kinds of not canon. All sorts of the silliness that you see in that one. And then I saw Liminality and fell asleep, uh, so I didn't finish it at all. And then I watched uh, the beginning of Roots and never finished that one. This is explaining elements and opposed elements, armor, and ah, oh, and the forums. So we'll tell you. When, I gotta stop doing that. It's telling us that there's a uh, Zeit uh, statues. Uh, mm, uh, okay, 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 okay. Hey everybody! Hey, Grunties! Ah, oh, they're so cute. Yeah, he likes. Everyone's Grunties. like they're pranks. Now they're Grunties. I like cute things. Cute things are like some of my favorite things. Cute things are the best, man. Are we gonna do with the footage that never actually happened ever and do a really long first episode to get all the tutorial stuff out of the way? Uh, yeah, we're oh. gonna we're gonna get to the end of. Um, so I'm just gonna let you call it when you think you dizzle. Unless okay. I'll give you like a way when it gets. Some of a long friggin' episode. Uh, da -da. Okay, so, God Hack is basically my favorite game series. Here's a bit of trivia about me. Mm. So, um, my name is Blazing Azure Crow. 
The reason it's Blazing Azure Crow is because my parents named me that way and they're cruel. Mm -hmm. They didn't like him very much. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Blazing Azure Crow because my first real experience talking to people online was uh, I was on a uh, dot .hack message board. And not I there. like Azure Balmung and Azure Orca, so I named myself Azure Crow. Wow. Yeah. Look, look at this not bear. Yeah, oh. I uh, no, it was Aaron, bear. that is Orca. <laughs> every sign character has an equivalent in... And the look-alike doppelganger people yeah, from other things. Now you know that. Oh, jeez. Aaron, would you... I have learned a thing. Do you know what <laughs> member addresses are? Yeah. No, you don't. I did, you know, I did last because it's me. Me who gave it to Sukasa, the one thing. Oh, and that's how they became friends. Oh, uh, good. That you... I mean, no, I don't know what member addresses uh, are. It allows me to add people to my party. Uh, oh, Aaron, look at his level. Well, he's such a high level. Oh, that's gonna make the game easy. <laughs> uh, I really wish we could have like genuinely. Yeah, yeah. Skipping most of this just because it's tutorial stuff. He's just explaining member addresses and how I can add people to my party right now. Once we get to, like, the stuff that Aaron hasn't seen, I'm going to be so much more like, Whoa! Oh, Chaos Gates are neat. Well, again, yeah. I, I said it last time. I mean, I've never said this before, but they need to make a real dot .hack MMO. I'd play the crap out of it. I would pay a subscription to play it. I would buy cosmetic items for it. Even though I don't see that happening because that seemed to be a thing that was already in the thing before, and if it wasn't, people would get salty. But hey, you never know. It's explaining to me fields that those options. I'm taking my socks off. Those options you just saw, um, they basically outline the details of the field, which you construct using three words that have different effects in the field, such as lowering or raising its level and affecting the element, field type, and dungeon depth. Ah, uh, here we go. Camera control. Who does this? Like, this game, I guess, has no actual tutorial, because if you think about it, Orca has to teach me how to play, which yeah. means the game itself has no functioning tutorial. Because it's a... in-canon meta... Mm. weird tutorial. I did it. <laughs> Field, lowest level, la-da-da. As I explained before, um... The maps loop around. The map that you have in the, top, in the top right hand corner here, it loops. Mm -hmm. um, so, normally you have to look for the dungeon. Yep, mm hmm. Yep, yeah. Good. Ah! Uh, hey, asshole goblin, how you doing? This tutor uh, the tutorial of this game is, like, super boring. Luckily, the other three games don't give you a tutorial. Oh yeah, the way .hack works. For those that don't know .hack, um, mm. this was an old PS2 game, which is, you know, what's up with the graphics. Um, it's an old PS2 game about an MMO that's being played by the main character, uh, Yasuhiko. Or sorry, uh, Yasuhiko's Orca. The I don't remember what Kite's player's name is. But he's being played... It, it's an online game called The World that they're just playing for the fun of it. And this is Kite's first time in the game as the character Kite. It's all about this grand romantic mystery that happens. Yeah. Yep. I'm just, I really, I, I apologize to anybody that's interested in the tutorial. I just mm. really want to get through it. Me. Tutorial speedrun no jutsu. We won't skip through cutscenes, though. Like, if it's story relevant. We get to see adorableness. Uh. Oh, no. Oh. Saber dance! What? Ha! 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 Somewhere, uh, Kite's mother is walking by his room, being like, What is he doing in there? What are about? Like, Saber Dance! Yasu Nakahako, supper's ready. Saber Dance! What? Ha! Ha! Could you imagine how this game would actually be with the voice acting? Everybody would have, like, a bad, mi like, a bad microphone and just yeah. be like, Be like, Saber Dance! <laughs> or they'd be bad actors and, like, You'd have one person every party that would run into battles with a bad microphone just being like <laughs> And they think they're super cool. Yeah. We've all had that guy. 
Uh, Aaron, you do a lot of like role play kind of games. I do. On your, uh, your Twitch stream. Mm -hmm. Do you ever bump into anybody that like tries hard to role play, but they're just annoying as fuck? You don't have to use names. Just... Yeah, no, I, I won't use names. Yeah, you get you get a couple. Um, a lot of the biggest ones, like I do a lot of life role play on Arma games, and of course, essentially, well, it's it's cops and robbers at its core, is what it is. So you occasionally get this kid, like I won't call him a kid, but he's a kid. Who wants to roleplay this hardcore Rambo badass criminal? And he either just can't sound the part, or he just doesn't know what to do. So he'll just shoot you in the stomach, and then you die. Mm. <laughs> and then everyone gets salty, and it's, it's like it's a big old pile role playing of is. All right, so obviously there's different approaches to roleplay, just like there's different approaches to acting and improv. Mm. But I find a lot of people who do role playing, and I see this in D and D a lot. Um, man, we're just not talking about the game at all right now. <laughs> so, uh, well, we are kind of because we're talking about the kind yeah. of people that might exist in it. Um, mm. uh, a lot of people approach D and D, and I've had players that do this, and I'm not going to name names, even out of my friends. I want the I want everybody to know that those of you I'm saying this about, I'm not going to go that way. Those of you that I'm saying this about, um, you've gotten better. So even if you think I'm talking about you, you've gotten better, and it's not a problem anymore. But, I have people who decide what their character is before they ever play them. And then they play them, but like, they've decided they're like, the intelligent rebel that no one really gets. But it doesn't come off that way when they play because everybody else isn't treating them the way they thought they would. Yeah. And because of that, they don't know how to play their character, because... They had a, a, <laughs> a preconceived image of what they should have been. And how they're going to interact with everyone, yeah. as opposed to thinking about the real core of the character and how they are gonna like what they feel as opposed to how they're going to act mm -hmm. because that's where you got to start with role playing and i think that's probably more common along a lot of newer people or people who aren't experienced as much with role play in any form mm -hmm. because as you do it like a lot of a lot of the things we see in games or shows like this um anything we've done that we thought was really awesome like heck after death note how many really Hardcore, hyper intelligent sociopaths that you meet in role playing games. Yeah. Suddenly a lot more. Yep. Um, and that's, you know, that's fine because that's where we all find really cool characters. Everyone, like, I know tons of guys who wanted to be Orca or Bear after playing a game like this because they're kind of hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you don't start with the interactions. You yeah. start with you what start makes with the character who they the are. Character. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I was bumped into some people, like, they like, one person got annoyed and left the game because they weren't being treated the way they thought they should be treated. And they, mm -hmm. that happened like four or five different games I ran for D&D. &D. And, um, I don't know, it was always kind of sad because I always felt like, well, what can be done about it, really? Because it's not like everyone's antagonizing you. Mm -hmm. It's just your character isn't what you think that they are. Or you can't portray what you want to mm. with this the limited skill set you have. Oh! Ah! Oh, time to see adorableness ah. for oh, a brief whoa. moment before we see spooky dooky evil thing. Spooky dooky evil evil <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I'm glad we cleared that up. Yay, Aura! Aura! <laughs> Oh, why are we sputtering? I like how he calls her Or. <laughs> he doesn't. He's like, Aura. it's just a weird translation. Yeah. I wonder how much that the rain outside is going to show up in the recording. I hope the noise gate kills it. Man, that rain. Good, though. Here in Vancouver, we've, uh, we've had, like, no rain all summer. Mm -hmm. Where we have water restrictions, and there were fires so large that smoke covered the city. Man, Aura is awesome. It's yeah, you know I like how you end up getting this when, like, if if Orca did get it, like, everything would have went so much better right off the bat. Maybe I think Kite's naivete. It does help with it, like, but just like with his ability, it would have helped. So it would have saved a lot of time. I'll also me. put forth that um, after this cutscene, Kite has something to fight for, whereas Orca was investigating out of curiosity. Mm. I don't know. I mean, he should be able to see its health bar and how it's not taking it. Yeah. Oh, funny story. I told this before, but I want to tell it again. So, 
uh, Scathe, that's the creature there, for those that don't know, um, his quote-unquote wand, his, his staff there. That thing? In Japanese, it's a cross, a, a Celtic cross, but to avoid any religious symbology in the English version... It was censored. It was, yeah, it was turned into this Q. Which, I think they both look cool. Yeah, like, that does look really sweet, but that makes me think of, like, the toothpicks you got at Boston Pizza inside the cherry mm -hmm. when you got, like, the volcano drink. I don't necessarily think either's better than the other, but mm -hmm. um, given the very... Celtic roots of a lot of the mythology in Dot Hack. Um, I feel like the Celtic cross would have been in place without looking weird. Yeah, I wouldn't have questioned it. Uh. Oh man. <laughs> hey, 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 nerd, Scathe, you didn't date. You didn't fucking protect break me. Oh no, you're gonna give me status ailments. That's all that would happen. Oh no. But look at Scathe, he's like, oh fuck! <laughs> he's uh, like, <laughs> not the white toothpick. <laughs> it's the only thing that can defeat the red toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you familiar with the epitaph of Twilight? I know it's watching sign, you must have heard that term. Yeah, I've heard it a lot. But um, you've you never probably ever and I ever actually I don't, I don't heard know. excerpts from it. No. So the thing at the start of the game was an excerpt from mm. it. Um, it's an unfinished poem written by Harold Horwick's, uh, I don't think wife? Maybe wife? I can't quite remember that clearly. Book inside your face. Oh, God! You have a book for a spine. Um, which is fine, because books have pretty solid spines. Yeah, especially that book. The, the, uh, this whole game is about the epitaph of Twilight playing out. There's some cool symbology that I might get into another time, but basically... The, the Twilight Dragon. Every Dot Hack game is thought to be a retelling of the epitaph, uh, epitaph of Twilight. The Twilight Dragon talked about is whatever the main character wants, and the Shadowless One, I believe, is considered the main character. Always from the epitaph. You'll discover more excerpts. The whole thing in no in no Dot Hack mythology has ever been fully found, and they talk a lot about how. Um, a lot of parts might be fake, so we don't know what parts are real. Oh, golly. But, you know what? That was the tutorial. All we're right. gonna end there. Woo! And then we're gonna come back next time and do some stuff. See y'all next time. On Let Them Play Games. Yay! Yay!